this time we are going to look at, so we've done uh, how to do a nice slow cinematic zoom in uh, Premiere Pro. Now we are going to look at DaVinci Resolve. This is the most recent DaVinci Resolve 17.4, I think it is. This is going to be a quick look at how to do a nice zoom. So here in my timeline, uh, you'll see I am down, I am in the uh, timeline feature down here. Um, and I am going to basically show you how to do a kind of dramatic couple ways of zooming. So let's dive right in. Uh, this is a clip. It is a, let me mute that. It is a monologue um, that I filmed a long time ago. And it's for a film called The Process, which you can see on my YouTube, by the way. Uh, Sci-fi short film. And basically what I want to do here is I want to do just a nice push in for dramatic effect on the actor. I want to zoom in nice and easy. Um, for that dramatic effect. Now, you will notice if I scroll fast, it already is going in and out. You can see if you look at the edges, how it's zooming in and out. There's an easy way on Resolve to do this, and it's called Dynamic Zoom. It's right here on the right-hand side. You go under the Video tab uh, and make sure that this is here. If you don't see this, um, you will go to, you'll see up here there's Inspector, Metadata, Mixer. We want to make sure the Inspector is up. Um, that is how you get that. So the top right corner there. So what we ultimately want to do here is you can use dynamic zoom and it's fairly simple. So basically you tell it which way you want it to go in. You want a linear zoom. You want to ease in, ease out or ease in and out. So let's say ease in and then, you know, you'll see this is a long clip, so it's going to take a while to do it. But you will see now it's actually started in and pushing out. So let's swap it. What does swap do? Swap tells it, okay, you're going, you know, out when I want you to be going in. So swap it. So let's go to ease out. So now, as you see, as time continues, it is now pushing in on him for that dramatic effect. And really, honestly, over time, that's kind of, that works. It's a little, it's, it's dynamic. So you're not really messing with anything, but here's the problem I have with this. So it's great for like a slap on if you want to get it done. One, two, three, but you see his ear is kind of getting cut off and he's kind of being pushed to the outside of the frame. I don't want that. Um, there are other ways you can adjust it, but I'm going to show you my way. OK, so very similar to Premiere Pro, you can do a zoom. Let's turn that off. You can do a zoom just like uh, Premiere, which is easy if you want to jump ship over to uh, DaVinci Resolve. How do you do that? Well, right here in Transform, again, we're still under the video and we're still in the inspector on the, the timeline page. Um, we want to, you want to pick where you want it to start and where you want it to end and the machine will do the rest. So here we've got where it starts. That's where the clip starts. And up here, you'll see where the zoom is and where the position is. So we want to lock that in to the right. You'll see these little keyframes. Boom, boom. Now it's locked. So I've told DaVinci Resolve, this is where I want it when this clip starts. If you had another clip over here, another clip over here, it wouldn't affect anything. Um, it would just knows when it gets to this clip, as long as it's highlighted in red, uh, we know that this is what you want to mess with. So he goes through his monologue. He tells a story and uh, we want it to, I'd say right about here, then he kind of drops off, right? So we want to keep it here and then here, maybe we can ease out a little bit. So going to this point where the story kind of ends, where do I want it? So I'm going to go to my zoom. I'm going to say, I want it right about there. And then where do I want my position? Because see, we're still having that thing where he's kind of off to the side. He's not in the in the frame how I want him to be. So I'm just going to scrub this over a little bit. And I think I like where he looks right there. And then you can also do up or down. So I'm going to do down a little bit and boom. So you see how it automatically turned red. Now the computer knows, oh, at this point in the in the scene, in the clip, we want it to be here. So we've told it that now you don't have to do anything else. We can go back, start playing and boom. You see ver see over here, see the numbers are starting to change. So those are the keyframes and it's starting to work its way to where you told it to be over here. And that's it. And see how we have a nice slow push in on him as he tells the story. And it just gives a nice little dramatic effect. If we skip forward a little bit, see how it see if we go in fast motion, it's even better. And those are the things you don't really notice. You know, it's just kind of subtle, but it brings the audience in. And then when we get here, we stop. So there you go. And then I want to reset it and let's do a quick zoom. So let's say something really dramatic happens and you want to, you know, that kind of Quentin Tarantino, it's not going to be quite that because you're not moving the camera, but 
we can do kind of a cool little effect, right? So we want to do it super fast and you just keep playing with this. You just keep getting it to where you want it. So we'll start here and then let's just scroll a little bit and let's say that's where we want it to go way in. And you got to be careful depending on how you shot this, it might get pixelated depending on how you zoom in. Um, so you just want to be mindful of that so here. And then, oh my goodness, he said something hard. Anyway, that's it. You can just keep messing with it, play around with it, and you will figure it out. All right, guys, that's how to do some zoom in on uh, DaVinci Resolve. See you on the next one.